everybody. Orange rolls going down today. The kids requested these. So I grabbed some when we had to run into Walmart. Great Value used to have orange. They called them orange. Did they call them Danish rolls or did they just call them orange sweet rolls or something? Anyway, I think if I remember right, we liked the Great Value ones better than Pillsbury, but they stopped making them. Or at least our Walmart stopped carrying them anyway. Yeah, the kids asked for these, and I was going to do the homemade ones. I don't know if y'all remember last year. I think, yeah, it was last year. On Jacob's birthday, I made some homemade orange sweet rolls. So I almost did those, but then I just went with the canned ones. So Jake's birthday is just in a few weeks. If he wants those for his birthday, we'll do that. <laughs> so I'm going to get these in the oven and make some, probably some bacon. The good thing about the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls or orange rolls, though, is that the frosting comes in this little container. You can pop in the microwave for just a minute and warm it up, and then it's easy just to pour over the top. Got the Christmas music going. Oh, I wanted to show y'all too some fun candles that they had at Walmart. Let me get these in the oven. So I only got three of them, but they have maybe five or six different kind, maybe even seven. I don't know. There were a good many of them. But I got these three country holiday. This one says it smells like winterberry, snowdrop petals, and cypress. I got snowflake cookie that smells like butter, cookie dough, and spice. Butter. That just that makes me laugh. I don't know why. And I got this one. It's Merry Christmas, You Filthy Animal. And it smells like lemon berry, vanilla, and marshmallow. It smells really good. They also had one that said gnome alone. Like home alone, but gnome alone. It had little gnomes on it. I can't remember the scent of that one. But these were my favorite, so I didn't get the Gnome Alone one. Anyway, I just thought it was so cute that it was kind of like Home Alone type candles. I don't know why there are only two Home Alone themed, but the rest of them were just random, like country holiday and stuff, so. And they were three, I think like 3.30 something. They should have had like the Home Alone house on it or something, anyway. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to show y'all. It's another thing I got from Walmart, and I'm telling y'all, it's the gift everybody wants for Christmas but did not know they wanted. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen them and had them before. But Walmart has a big display of them this year for only $1.50. Everybody wants one. Let me get this bacon started and I'll show it to y'all. This, no, it is not a whisk. That's what the kids ask me whenever I showed it to them. <laughs> they were like, is it some kind of weird whisk? No, it is a scalp massager. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen these before. I've seen them before. But I've never gotten one because I was just like, I don't know, I mean, what? You just stick it down on your head and then go like up and down, turn around, whatever. And it's a wonderful thing. It's only $1.50. Every one of the kids was loving this thing. They kept wanting to take turns with it. Perfect stocking stuffer right here. For adults and older kids, little kids, of course, you don't want to give it to them because they might poke their eyes or something. But, you know, <laughs> older kids and adults will love this. It comes in a cute little box too that you just stick right down in the stocking. There you go. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love I live the dream I knew this Christmas I only want Are you looking for Cece? Oh. They're playing hide and seek. Where'd she go? She's gone gone. She gone gone? Uh oh. Did you hear her? <laughs> Manly's turn to hide. You go count, Cece. Okay. He goes to the same hiding place she just left. Here, let me help you find a different hiding spot. Come here. Find a different spot. Stay right there. I have no idea where he is. <laughs> I don't think you fully understand the game. <laughs> nice church. 
I want to show you all something I really like about this church. Plug-ins. This church right here has plug-ins everywhere. Just being able to have plug-ins available, which there's so many, really does help. We use electric drums. They don't have any, hardly any volume. This is a, like a screen door. So the drum really does not make any noise without this trigger. We got a trigger in these drums. So you can hear a little bit of noise, but not much. Really helps control the, the overall volume. All right, we we're getting a That's sound check. Play, All This is the leftover turkey. We still had a little bit left over, and it's just enough to make some turkey and dumplings. We make chicken and dumplings all the time, so I figured, why not turkey? I'm just gonna chop it into small pieces instead of shredding it this time. I'm making it just like I make, you know, the chicken and dumpling recipe, just that we have turkey instead. Okay, we'll set this over to the side, get everything started. So what do y'all do with your leftover turkey? Most of the time, we just eat it. like with the leftovers or if we have even more like with this i would just do turkey sandwiches then we would have um, either hamburger buns or rolls and we would put mayonnaise salt and pepper turkey so good man that's making me want a turkey sandwich right now i'm gonna put some butter in here and let it be melting down i think i might use oil sometimes i can't remember if i use oil or butter but we're gonna go with butter this time today we'll go ahead and let that start to melt and i'm gonna chop up an onion carrots and garlic butter is melted we're gonna put in the onion and carrots and then we'll chop up the garlic okay we're gonna put in some more butter six tablespoons of all-purpose flour Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. We put in a little bit of chicken broth. Now we're putting in the turkey. Okay, now we're gonna put in the rest of the chicken broth. I'm using a whole 48 ounce carton. We're gonna put in some thyme. A little bit of parsley. Sometimes I wait and add the parsley in to the dumplings, but I'm just gonna put it in like this this time. And I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit. We're gonna put in half a cup of heavy cream. 
And that's it for this part for right now. When it starts to come to a boil, then we'll put in some frozen peas if I have any. I might be out of frozen peas. If I am, that's fine. You can totally leave those out. Okay, thank you. Jonah said he'll go check and see for me. He did find some. I had half a bag in there. That's fine because I don't usually put a whole bag anyway. Okay, these dumplings are really easy. You just put in two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, salt and pepper, and just one and one-third of a cup of heavy cream. That's it. We just mix this all up and it'll form the dumpling dough. And I just like to pinch it off and make little balls myself. I tried one time using a cookie scoop to do it, but it's a lot easier if you just do it by hand. Okay, so we've got the dumpling dough ready, but I'm not going to put them in here yet. This needs to just sit over here and simmer for about 10 more minutes. Then we'll add in the dumplings. I did do this in the Instant Pot once before too, so I'll link that video down below if y'all want to see how to do it in the Instant Pot. So we'll just let this simmer for about 10 minutes, then we'll put the dumplings in. Once we get the dumplings in, then we put a lid on it and it's just gonna cook for 15 more minutes to cook the dumplings and it's ready. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do.